Vikings action on Bourbon Street. Well, been this week for the New Orleans Bowl. There will be in a couple of weeks for the Nokia Sugar Bowl to decide the BCS championship. Right back here in the Superdome. That's what they're playing for tonight. And Memphis is looking at a third and seven with 2.36 to go. They just forced North Texas to use its next to last timeout. And if they get this first down, it is awfully hard, even for the most optimistic of the Mean Green, to figure how they're going to pull out a miracle here. Keeping it on the ground with full sweeping, no game. And the last time out here was 2.29 on the clock. And a big-time play by Taylor Casey, number four. And these linebackers have been all over the field as we have been led to believe that they would be. we got Hurd, Spencer, and Casey for eight tackles, eight tackles, and five tackles, respectively. And Taylor Casey here comes does, Taylor yeah. Casey, yep. Does, does a nice job. He, and I'll tell you what, if you're a linebacker, you got a little wide receiver on you, you better defeat the block and make the tackle. Or you need a new can of linebackers. <laughs> they, they come in a can? And Some what, of us do. <laughs> what position did you play, Chris? Well, I got one. Can of linebacker. But if you get a wide receiver that can handle you, then you're in trouble. That was a nice job of using his hands. And it looked like White to me didn't want any part of that contact down. He came a little shy. Don't be shy. 42-yard field goal coming, coming Thursday night. ESPN with the exclusive announcement of the 2004 NFL Pro Bowl starters. Special edition of the NFL Live Pro Bowl Selection Show presented by Sears, 7 Eastern Thursday on ESPN. I've got to tell my Joe Green Pro Bowl story. Joe Green was supposedly such a nice guy off the field, and he beat you to death on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> so when we went to the Pro Bowl, I told Carolyn, we're going to go to this luncheon. I want you to sit with that guy over there. She went and sat and had lunch with Joe Green. The rest of my career, every time we played the Steelers, Joe would come out and say, oh, how's Carolyn? How's she doing? He never kicked me. He didn't no. hurt me. He didn't break my neck or anything. Yep, you over merit, Coach. You over merit. It worked. I still couldn't block him, though. <laughs> Doug Kowski's longest has been 45. This one for a 10-point lead, 22. And he has got it nailed. Tell you, that's a great job of kicking and being the pitcher. He threw one right down the middle. He did it with that right leg, though. That was a nice, good execution of the mechanics of the field goal. Good snap, good hold, and he drilled it. You know who the special teams coach is. Depends now if they're playing well. <laughs> yeah, well, Tommy's still looking at his watch to see if that thing got off in one point <laughs> yeah. two. He's, he's got a pretty good field kickers too. Usually after he leaves their foot, they'll get a get an idea. Yeah, he knows that's good. That's a strike. He threw the fastball in there. I asked him how his elbow said he says elbow's fine. He's getting ready for that pitching season. It was a good kick. Good solid kick under pressure. It really was, and uh, it makes North Texas job extremely difficult. Now they need two scores. It's uh, difficult because they have not taken advantage of their chances, unlike Memphis. Not many blown opportunities tonight by the Tigers. This was early. Andy Blunt wide open. That's a touchdown if it's thrown correctly. Fumble brought it out from nine yards deep in the end zone. Kevin Moore, and it's recovered by the Tigers at the eight. That cost him three. Face mask leading to a scoring drive by That's Memphis. Third down play right there. Third down penalty. Well, I, at least four would-be touchdowns, either overthrown or top slipping or yeah. something going awry for North Texas. And, and Memphis, every, ch every chance they have had to get on the scoreboard, they've gotten points. Well, except when they, they, they had a field goal that bounced off the upright. That was the only one. And they self-destructed with penalties down close early in the third. Don't break it out. Well, the Moore has learned his lesson. So 10 down, no timeouts, 2.26 to go for a non-passing offense. Although, on that last drive, Scott Hall hit the two out of four for 82 yards. NBA Fast Break Tuesday coming up next. We'll have more on this New Orleans Bowl if you want to switch over to ESPN News. And Danny Wimpry not only has the mental 
characteristics of Brett Favre, but also a little bit of the physical yeah, character. Looks like yeah, he looks like him. And that's a compliment. Brett Favre, one of my favorite players, and had the privilege of coaching him in the East-West Shrine game. We knew then he'd be a star. You didn't coach him up too much, did you? We didn't say nothing to him. <laughs> just gave him the ball. All swarmed. Struggles to get within two yards of the line of scrimmage. But that was a double eagle of what's called a Bears defense, popularized by Buddy Ryan when he was the coordinator for the Bears. Both guards and the center covered. Very difficult because everybody across the front in the middle three, one-on-one -on -one protection. And after him again, he gets blocked and blocked goes nowhere. Blitz Real coverage. Ballard. Yep, blitz coverage, man-to-man. -man. The theory is that you're not going to have time to set up and throw it deep. You're going to have to dump it off in hot fashion like that, and Ballard, Johnny on the spot. It was a great form tackle by yes, Derek was. Ballard. was something you don't see a lot in college football it today. It looked like a Chris Fieldman yeah. special. I don't know, but he brought he kept his head up, and he brought his feet, and he one step to wrap, two steps to squeeze, and closed the gate in front of the ball, and brought a little nasty with it. Patrick Cobb's being helped off the field. The worst of all possible signs here, even though they need to pass, but still figure in. And headed toward the bench. Third down and ten. Coming off the hall again. Jamel Bridge. And he was face masked. Still gets the first down to the 37-yard line. And they'll tack on some extra to the 17-yard gain as they continue to check on the Cobbs. Team doctor Robert Gershon looking Patrick over. Again, the point that coach made, and we both notice was that there's no quit in either of these football teams and this is a little grabbing of the face mask defense five yards will be tacked on the end of the run first down you know texas still alive and chris uh, you just continue with what you were saying there because these are two gritty outfits yeah and, and the, to me it's a reflection of the coaches yep and if the coaches uh or this is a reward for these kids or, or North Texas winning the Sub Belt Conference. Tommy West, first bowl game in 32 years for Memphis. They're playing like it, and it's fun to watch. Ball can't get off. Coot. Yep, it's double eagle. We don't have time to do replays because there's no huddle, but it's a Bears defense covering both guards, all man coverage with a free safety, and he just doesn't have anybody with time to deliver. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dave. I had to say Coot. I can't. Couldn't help it. <laughs> I'll be my guest. The Memphis to get back into the postseason with such a young roster, just eight seniors. This flag to stop the clock at a minute four. Pass to the snap. Full start. Offense, five-yard penalty. Remain second down. Now, Heather, when you go from three wins last year to nine and four, if they hang on to this, that's got to pay off for Tommy West. Well, I, it? I think it'll definitely make an impact because I spoke with Memphis Athletic Director R.C. Johnson yesterday. His goal was to announce a contract extension before tonight's game, but travel commitments didn't allow them to finalize the details. What has been confirmed is the length of the contract. It will extend to 2008. What they need to iron out is the money, of course, and I certainly think this will help get the budget up a little bit both parties hope the contract will be finalized by the first of the year. And he's really enjoyed himself in Memphis. He, he knows what it's like to win seven, get to a bowl, and get fired at Clemson. So offside defense contract foul. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Nice to be appreciated. And Tommy West is very appreciated at Memphis. And our Capital One players of the game, pretty obvious, Danny Wimprine for the Tigers, goes for 254. There's one on the ground through the hands of Ben Ridgway here. And Patrick Cobbs with both for Texas touchdowns at 110 yards. That's still 47 below his average. But uh, when Scott Hall could get absolutely nothing going, Cobbs finally uh, breaks a couple in the second half and uh, gets North Texas back into the game. You know, if, uh, if I had to pick a guy, too, uh, if we pick a defensive guy, I think Eric Taylor from Memphis has just been outstanding, both against the run and the pass, playing with high energy and a high motor. Third and 12, and then we tee off. Ball with time, this time it overthrows Grant. And last 
Gas time with 37 seconds. And the guy that was constantly in Memphis's backfield was Michael Pruitt, number 93 for the Mean Green. Right. Had a wonderful game. Even better than his more famous teammates. With the effort of both teams has just been outstanding. And these guys do feel like it's their national championship coach, and it's just been a joy to watch. And, and the excitement of the people from North Texas and the fans from Memphis. It's college football, which is to me a celebration. It's changed my whole perspective on the bowl thing. Fourth and 12 for Hall, and the gun is hit as he tries to get rid of it. That will do it. A coup. Coup with a little speed rush off the corner there. Again, Joe Lee using one of his linebackers, putting him as a defensive end. It's off to the races. That's a race to the quarterback. Z ball, get ball. Too many balls, not when you look at it. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. What a great, I think, mean, Coach, you've been in that position. That's got to be just a, an awesome feeling. It is. And if you could get stuff slamming all down in your britches, <laughs> it's freezing cold, and you're thinking, good gosh, I've got to get out of these clothes. That's mainly what you're thinking. Just the, the, no, you're also yeah. proud of the guys, and you, you do. It's a great moment. You don't think about anything except all those months together with the uh, hardworking youngsters. Andy Wimprime, the New Orleans Bowl MVP, Memphis, after a 32-year postseason absence. And after a three-win 2002 season, goes 9-4, and four, and they win the 2003 New Orleans Bowl. And in so doing, they end the North Texas win streak at eight. Champions last year, the Mean Green fall 27 to 17. Six years at Clemson, he took those Tigers to four bowls. These Tigers probably feel like they just won the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Well, they had to beat a very hard-fighting, well-prepared North Texas team. A team that comes from a conference that's not as much recognized, but one that can be proud of their representative tonight. Uh, and don't underestimate what this can do for his recruiting too now. Look at that. That's the first. You haven't had that in a while. It's great to see from Memphis. Heather is with the MVP tonight. Danny went from. Danny, congratulations on a great game. The last time Memphis was in a bowl game was before you were born. Do you understand what this means to this program? It's been a long time. A long time coming. These guys have worked really hard. Finally started to play as a team this year. It's a great feeling. I feel so great for this entire program. What does it mean to you to do this in front of more than 100 friends and family in your hometown? I mean, it's huge. I love this city. Everybody from Memphis came down to support us. Huge game. Great feeling. It's ready. It's time to go have fun. Now tell me, you came into this game without your top running back. You lost your second running back. Was there ever any doubt you guys could get this done? No, no doubt. That's what the team's all about. And we showed that. We finally started to play as a team this year. And these guys showed a lot of heart, and I'm so proud of them. You won four state high school tournament uh, games here. Are you well aware of what your record is here in this dome? I think about nine, 92 now, something like that. It feels really good. I'm proud of all these guys. Congratulations, Danny, on a great game. Coach, wonderful performance. I just asked Danny about what this means historically for this program. You've got to have a broader perspective on it. What does it mean for you? Well, what it means is that we came down here without our back, then we got our other back hurt, and these kids found a way. So, you know, we got a character, a bunch of young people. We're proud of them. But this program is fixing to take off. I don't mind saying that. I mean, I think we've really just scratched the surface. It's been a long time since you've had a Gatorade bath. Feeling pretty good down here? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Coach, you've been at Clemson. You've been in some big-time bowl games. Where does this win rank for you? Uh, as good as any of them. It really does, because it all, especially with all the things that happen, uh, getting the people hurt. Danny was banged up in the game in the second half. Uh, so, I mean, it's as good as it gets. Huge coaching change in the offseason with Joe Lee Dunn coming in as your defensive coordinator. The ability to stop the nation's best runner in Patrick Cobbs, what did your defense do? Well, Joe Lee's a great football coach. Uh, he, he's run his system. He's tremendous. I said he was the best signee that I had uh, <laughs> last year. Well, I'm glad he's on our side. Tommy West, enjoy the victory. Congratulations on a huge win for Memphis. Thank you. Thanks.
Tommy West used to be an advocate of a playoff system, but he says coming to this bowl, this excitement that has spread throughout the town has changed his mind about a playoff. Well, I have never thought that a playoff made any sense because nobody's ever shown me a playoff system that benefits the players. I've always thought about the players since I was one of them for so much of my life. And when you consider that you would have to virtually dismantle and you really would lose credibility for these kinds of bowls if you had a playoff system, that's just another reason to keep what we got. As flawed as it is, we can tweak it and we can get it a little better. But this doesn't, it, it doesn't get any better than this in the sport of football. Well, I'm a proponent of a playoff system, but I, I, without eliminating what we're seeing and witnessing tonight, just the excitement of, of Memphis football being back in. And Coach West coming out and making ra a rather bold statement saying this this is a, this is going to have our program take off. He's, in fact, it's fixing to take off. And I think, if, I don't speak Southern, but does fixing mean it's ready to go? Yeah, you got it. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, when you get real Southern, it becomes, <laughs> we're fitting to go. Right. And, and, and you come up with a playoff system that shows me where the players benefit, and I'll endorse it with you. Well, Conference USA fitting to get real busy in the postseason. <laughs> they got Louisville and the GMAC Thursday. TCU against Boise State. A great Plains Capital Fort Worth Bowl matchup. Houston, Hawaii, in Honolulu, Southern Miss Utah, in Memphis. Memphis wins this one, and they take that trophy back with them. 27 to 17 it is the final over Sun Belt champion North Texas. A whole different perspective when you come from a program where just success isn't quite enough at Clemson. Maybe they've learned some things in this past couple of years experience with Tommy Bowden to a program that is starved for success. And Tommy West has given him a taste of it. Probably a lot more to come. And plus the seniors, Dave, how that's a reward for them. And to stand up there with the podium with their coach has got to be the highlight of their career as seniors leaving the program. 84 season, first bowl since 1971. You put it all together. You brought your fellas down here. You played a terrific game. The fans are just wonderful. They followed you to New Orleans. Congratulations, and I want to present you the championship so again, trophy. Again, congratulations the to the Tigers. Winners coming up next year on ESPN2. Kevin Frazier, Greg uh, Anthony, Tim like Legler with yeah, NBA Fast thing. Break Tuesday. There's two groups. There's three, really, there's three groups of people that this wouldn't have happened. Number one is our coaches. We've got a great coaching staff. Number two is this great bunch of players right here. And number three is you. We love you. Thanks. Thank you, Coach.